Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to be looking at powers of 10, and a little bit of scientific notation is going to be thrown in there at the end. All right, powers of 10. So what to expect, we're going to talk about exponents with a base of 10, and then we're going to talk about how that really means we're just moving a decimal. So let's look at it. Exponents with a base of 10. 10 is our base, and 4 is our exponent with this um, example we have here. When it's written in this way, we call that exponent form. What that means is 10 times itself four times, and that's written in expanded form. Then if we actually write this out, what is this number? The number is 10,000, and that's in standard form. So when we're writing out the number like this, you'll notice that our exponent, 4, is the same as the number of zeros. 10,000 has four zeros. 10 is a very special number, and when we have that exponent with a base of 10, it basically means either adding zeros or moving a decimal, sometimes a combination of those. So basically, we are going to move a decimal and add zeros today. That's all we're going to be doing. All right, so let's get to it. Um, you will move the decimal, the number of the exponents. You'll move it one place for every number in the, de in the exponent. If there's a two in the exponent, you'll move it two places. Let's look at some examples. So if I have this, 5.234 times 10 to the power of two, I will shift the decimal two places. And that will leave me with 523.4. That's it. If you want to, you can write it all out. Um, 5.234 times 100, which is 10 to the power of 2. 10 times 10 is 100. Um, and you'll get the same answer. But the whole point of writing something with a power of 10 is so that you don't have to write it all expanded out. The whole point is so that you can just shift the decimal and make your life a little bit easier. All right, so what we're going to do is do a couple of practice problems, writing it out, just shifting the decimal. So let's go ahead and practice. I have 97.64 times 10 to the power of 4. If I'm given this type of question, I am going to give myself a little bit of space, shift the decimal four places to the right. Now, after I get past the four, I'm going to have to add in some place fillers, some zeros, um, just to fill up the space there. And that gives me the answer, or the new number, of 976,400. One of the most common mistakes that people make while doing this is that they look at the exponent and just add four zeros. Brrr. Notice we did not add four zeros, we added two zeros. The four means that we are moving the decimal four places. Okay, and that's really important to, to note. We're moving the decimal that number of spaces. That's what powers of 10 are. So let's do another one. We're going to write this number in standard form. Right now it's written as a power of 10. 1.025 times 10 to the power of 3. We're going to shift the decimal three places. 1, 2, 3. And that leaves us with 1,025. Okay, when the decimal is at the end here, we don't write it in. Um, that's just a standard way of writing a number, 1,025. Now, I told you we'd talk a little bit about scientific notation. Basically, what scientific notation is, is it's a way that scientists measure really big numbers or really small numbers. They represent those really large and small numbers. And they do that using powers of 10. The difference is that they always end up with one number on the left of the decimal. So let me show you. It's basically like the powers of 10 in reverse. So I'll start with a large number like 23,456. That's a lot. That's a lot of Skittles. All right. So if you start with that, and I want to write it in scientific notation, I'm basically going to do the back, the opposite of what I did before. I'm going to start here, and I'm going to shift my decimal until I have only one number on the left. So th in this case, that would be a 2. And I count how many places it moved. So it moved 4 places, so I would have times 10 to the power of 4. So 2.3456 times 10 to the power of 4. That's now written in scientific notation. Notice it has one number on the left of the decimal. In this case, that number is a 2. 
but has one number on the left of the decimal, that is scientific notation. Well, let's do one more. Always has one number on the left of the decimal, so even if it's a huge large number like this, it's going to have one number. So I'm going to start at the end and count my way back. That decimal is going to move nine places to give me 1.683 times 10 to the power of 9. All right, that is written in scientific notation. Notice 1 is on the left of the decimal. There is always one number on the left of the decimal in scientific notation. Otherwise, it's exactly the same as powers of 10. All right, so we talked about powers of 10. We talked a little bit about doing that in reverse to make something into scientific notation. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.